Good afternoon. Now we will demonstrate the use of AEG accessories produced by MKS for AEG registration. You observe these accessories on the table. The primary component is a cap with pre-installed electrodes. The cap is composed of elastic fabric. It has perforations for the installation of electrodes based on the 1010 or 1020 system. Large holes serve firstly to reduce the weight of the cap, secondly for ventilation, and finally for access to the taco removable surface of the electrodes or to the skin, which is located directly under the electrode for contact preparation. All of the lead wires from each electrode are gathered into a solitary bundle which terminates with a connector. This common connector is linked to the input connector on the digital electroencephalograph in the event that it is present on the electroencephalograph device. Different manufacturers may have different connectors. Accordingly, during production, the necessary mating part is installed as a common connector. In the event that there is a requirement to register utilizing touchproof type end plugs with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters, which is a widely accepted standard measurement, an adapter is utilized for this specific purpose, which easily connects to the common connector. And then we use separate forks, which we insert into the sockets on the front panel of the electric siphon. We will write today through a common connector. Before starting the procedures, the patient must be informed to prepare for the procedure. The head should be clean. It is preferable to neaten up the hair as much as possible. So, we measure the circumference of the head. Here we have a measurement of approximately 60 centimeters. Considering that we possess hair, it is estimated that the length will likely be approximately 56-58 centimeters. And, in accordance with this, we opt for a hat that is the correct size. It should not be big, it should not be very small, but rather just the right fit. Small can tear or create discomfort. The large one will not provide the necessary tension and accordingly the necessary fit of the electrodes and the corresponding contact. When we put it on, we must ensure to put on the hat carefully without making any sudden movements. Let's start the process now and proceed with caution. Fill the syringe with a thick needle which has a larger diameter and is designed for injecting substances into the body. Next, we begin the process of preparing the skin. It is crucial to make sure that the skin is thoroughly and meticulously prepared in the areas where the grounding electrode and reference electrodes will be positioned. On the portion of the head where we have hair, we also carry out degreasing by applying alcohol in the intended areas to remove any grease or oil buildup that may be present. Please put on a hat to protect yourself from the sun's harmful rays and to stay warm in cold weather. We placed it on in reverse, with caution. Without pulling the cheek part, we carefully put on the hat in a meticulous manner, making sure not to disturb any of its elements or misalign it in any way, and then rectify it by employing a chin strap to repair and firmly fasten it in position. Now we gently macerate the skin to ensure enhanced contact and establish better communication between the ingredients. It is accomplished using a unique scrubbing technique. Electrically conductive scrub, so there is no requirement to wipe it. He takes part together with the gel in the creation of a salt bridge connecting the electrode and the skin. If needed, spread the hair to work with the scrub, and then the gel flowed into the electrode chamber, providing a salt bridge, i.e. contact between the electrode and the skin of the head. Now, please establish a connection by connecting the cable connector of the cap to the input connector of our EEG machine. 
for accurate data transmission and analysis purposes. In the event that it is deemed necessary, kindly proceed to tighten the screws in order to ensure a better and more reliable contact between the components of the system. And by employing software, we commence the procedure of pouring gel into the electrodes, ensuring precise control and accuracy throughout the entire process. Our primary goal is to constantly strive for the lowest possible interelectrode impedance, optimizing performance to achieve unparalleled results in system efficiency. It is of utmost importance not to overdose the gel, as doing so can lead to the gel spreading, closing the electrodes, causing shunts to appear, and consequently, negatively impacting the quality and accuracy of the recording procedure. In the impedance software module, we observe a schematic image of the head and the positions of the electrodes. So, impedance levels are encoded with a specific color. Green color represents a good impedance. Yellow color indicates a satisfactory impedance. And red is the level that is too high to achieve. You need to achieve the levels that are encoded in the color green. The software of any manufacturer enables you to programmatically set these levels. In electroencephalography, the required level for EEG registration is considered to be 5 co-ohm. We can programmatically set from 5 to 15, let's say. Satisfactory level, from 15 to 40, up to 45. Above is already a level that does not permit registering an EEG due to the restrictions it imposes. You must achieve the lowest possible interelectrode impedance. You can slightly separate the strand of hair with a needle if the hair is thick and long. This technique is effective for thick and long hair strands. and we positioned ear electrodes, which will serve as reference electrodes in our installation and play a vital role in our experimental setup. Clips are used to attach electrodes to the ears. We dress them empty and fill them with gel, just like electrodes on the comic surface of the head, in a manner similar to how electrodes are placed on the surface of the head for medical purposes. So, we have successfully achieved an acceptable impedance and initiated data acquisition. Please remain still, keeping your eyes closed. Once we have verified that the data capture process is proceeding smoothly, we proceed to press the record button in order to initiate the recording. And the data that is being captured is already being written to a file physically stored on the disk drive. Kindly close your eyes briefly, relax, and allow yourself to unwind for a moment. Take deep breaths, imagining that your lungs are expanding like a balloon being slowly filled with air, and then exhale slowly and fully. Inhale deeply through the nose, then exhale slowly through the mouth to relax and find a sense of calm. After the script is completed, the program automatically generates a preliminary version of the report, which the doctor has the ability to modify and rectify in a text editing tool. There is a need to fill out a conclusion that is multifunctional and serves multiple purposes. The procedure for offline processing is commencing. At this time, we are removing the cap and disconnecting the ear electrodes from the subject's head in order to proceed with the data analysis. We disconnect without pulling the wire and carefully extract the plugs by employing rotary movements in a deliberate and cautious manner. Detach the electrodes from the ears. Next, we proceed to remove the hat from the subject's head. With caution, move carefully in the opposite direction. Go forward, then backward. Be mindful of your surroundings and navigate in the opposite direction, both moving forward and backward. Detach the connector from its connection point by disconnecting it using the appropriate method or tool. While gel isn't dry, wash the cap. The cap is currently being washed under a steady stream of water. 
The gel washes off very well during the washing process. We start washing the electrodes and caps thoroughly to ensure proper cleanliness and hygiene. Initially, the paper clips should be addressed. Utilize a used toothbrush to cleanse the gel residue. Another clip. Firstly, we wash the hair clips, and then we promptly remove them onto a paper towel or onto any other towel, such as a waffle or something similar, which has good water absorption. This ensures effective drying. Thoroughly wash the carbon surface and then meticulously clean the holes with a special brush in a very careful and precise manner. The item has been removed. Now let us proceed to wash the hat itself and ensure its cleanliness and freshness. Reverse the orientation of the item by turning it inside out to expose the inner side. And we commence the procedure of flushing each individual electrode to ensure optimal performance. It is preferable to have a specific scheme. Let's assume, initially along the sagittal line, in order to avoid missing any electrode. It is crucial to completely rinse off the gel because if it dries, it transforms into a film that renders subsequent registration unachievable. Later, you will need to carefully and for an extended period of time wash off this film. At this moment, we proceed to clean the channels. Once this task is completed, we can confidently say that we are finished with our current responsibilities. And you can. Cleanse using a weakened solution of soap because whether you have a preference for it or not, the oily and sweat secretions from the head continue to remain on the inner surface of the cap. Once the cap has dried completely, it will need to be carefully treated with a suitable disinfectant solution. Place it flat on a clean towel and allow it to air dry thoroughly before using it again. So, let us proceed to dry all of this out completely and thoroughly, ensuring that there is no moisture or dampness remaining. In order to achieve the desired level of dryness and eliminate any potential issues or problems that may arise as a result of excess moisture. In order to block the light, you have the option to cover it with a towel or utilize a specialized dryer machine specifically designed for this purpose. We suspend the tail at the higher position than the cap itself to prevent water from entering the tail and ensure the cap's functionality in the future. Subsequently, we allow it to dry.